हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आवर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एट होम स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई विल टीच यू चैप्टर फोर ऑफ जोग्राफी द एयर अराउंड अस ओके स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेसन वी विल स्टडी अबाउट एटमोसफेयर एंड इट्स कॉम्पोजिशन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द एटमोसफेयर इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ द एटमोसफेयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल atmosphere what is atmosphere the word atmosphere is derived from the greek word atmos and sphera which means vapor and sphere respectively the atmosphere is an envelope of thick gases and tiny particles surrounding the earth from our sides the atmosphere is very important part of the biosphere as life exists on the earth due to its presence because of this only life is there as we are living there every um, animals like uh, birds humans everyone these are living things na this is life so why how they are living because of atmosphere only it provides necessary gases for the subs uh, substance of life on the earth right it also filters harmful solar radiations like uv rays or ultraviolet rays the height of the atmosphere is estimated to be above 1600 km from the earth's surface now about its composition can composition of the atmosphere the atmosphere is composed of three things what are those three things gases number one which gases are there nitrogen and oxygen are two main gases of the atmosphere they constitute 99% of the atmosphere the remaining 1% is represented by argon carbon dioxide neon helium xenon hydrogen krypton xenon methane etc oxygen is very important gas as we inhale it the gases like carbon dioxide and nitrogen are required by green plants for photosynthesis and their growth the zon gas absorbs most of the uv rays from the sun and prevents the earth from the sun from the sun and prevents the earth from becoming too hot two is water vapor the water vapor is received in the atmosphere due to the due to evaporation from water bodies water bodies means like ocean seas lakes etc the water vapor content is atmosphere very between 0 to 5 percent now the third thing is particulate matter what are particulate matter fine solids particles like dust pollen soot smog ash etc right present in the atmosphere is known as particulate matter right these particular matter are hydroscopic in nature and help in cloud formation now about greenhouse effect what is greenhouse effect it is very much 
important phenomena. Let us understand about it. The sun emits heat and light during, uh, during the day. This heat is absorbed by the earth's surface and it's, it gets heat up. The earth's surface radiates back some of this heat. The greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, uh, nitrous oxide and water vapor is also there. Right? In the atmosphere absorbs some of this to radiate heat. Greenhouse gases maintains just right temperature for us. For us means for the earth. It makes us um, suitable for the living beings. Right? The action of uh, greenhouse gases get has a negative side too. They many lead to increase they may in they may increase uh, in average annual temperature. It might cause global warming. Right? Now about the structure of the atmosphere. Structure of the atmosphere means how atmosphere is formed. Like layers of the earth so many layers you, you have um, studied about layers of the earth. The earth has many layers like atmosphere also has some layers. Right? Atmosphere consists of layer like spherical shells on the basis of the temperature, pressure etc. The layers are divided into number one troposphere. The troposphere is the lowermost layer and the densest layer of the atmosphere. The average height of the troposphere is about 13 kilometer at the equator and about 8 kilometer at the poles. For living beings this is the most important layer in the atmosphere. As all weather phenomena like cloud, rain, fog, thunder, lightning etc. occur in this layer. It also keeps the earth sufficiently warm by absorbing the heat radiated by the earth's surface. Right. Now, second one is stratosphere. <coughs> it is the layer just above the troposphere. The troposphere extends up to 50 km from the surface of the earth. There is a very little phenomena of weather in the layer. There are hardly any cloud, dust, particles, water vapor, etc. in this layer. So, thus this layer, the absence of weather phenomena in this layer makes this layer safe for aircraft flying. The lower part of the stratosphere contains ozone in it which protects the earth from the harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun. Advantage you have understood of stratosphere. Now next is, next layer is mesosphere. Like the layer above Stratosphere is called mesosphere. It is the middle layer of the atmosphere. It is right. The word meso means middle. It ex 
Thanks between 50 and kilometer and 80 kilometer. In this layer, temperature again decrease with and increase height. Increase in height. Right. It is the coldest layer in the atmosphere. And the crystals of ice are sometimes found in this layer. Right. The meteors from outer space entering the earth's atmosphere uh, experience freeze due to the gas uh, due to gas molecules in this layer and get burnt. Right. Now next layer is thermosphere. The layer, this layer occurs above the mesosphere and extend up to a height of about 450 kilometer from the surface of the earth. In thermosphere, the temperature increases rapidly, rapidly with increase in height. This layer is useful for wireless communication as in this layer the action of UV rays or gas gases uh, in the atmosphere creates electrically charges particles called ions through ionization right these Ions reflect radiations, radio waves, radio waves back to the earth and thus facilitate wireless communication. Right, the, and the last one is exosphere. The last one is exosphere. The exosphere is the outermost last layer of the atmosphere. It occurs about 500 kilometers from the surface of the earth. The temperature of this layer around 5500 degree Celsius. The air is very thin. In this layer, it contains only few light gases like helium and hydrogen. Now, importance of atmosphere. Why atmosphere is important for us? Right. Various gases in the atmosphere and the role they play is very important for the survival of living beings on the earth. Oxygen is oxygen is indispensable for the survival of humans on the earth. Carbon dioxide is required by the plants to create oxygen and food by photosynthesis, right, on which we are directly or indirectly depend. We directly or indirectly depend on this, on plant, right. The atmosphere is a crucial part of the water cycle, right. Presence of water vapor in the atmosphere results in rain. Right. The atmosphere is an important reservoir for water. Right. The ozone layer in the atmosphere protects us from the most harmful rain. Which rains? UV rays, ultraviolet rays right. coming from the sun. The atmosphere by trapping Earth's radiation, heat, 
radi uh, earth radiated heat help uh, keep it sufficiently warm right it form a medium for different waves to trend and thus help in communication right so all these things uh, make the earth suitable for the living things so it is our duty to save the atmosphere on our level right students okay uh, one worksheet is also given there revision worksheet you will learn it first you will revise that and you will do that honestly and preserve it in a folder right students and solutions are also there okay and you will write neatly the draw diagram also where is needful and color it nicely and which activity is given you will do that also right students so stay home stay safe bye